These are the victim statements from the families of the three victims killed by Lawrence Anderson. They were able to stand in front of Anderson today and emotionally tell him what they've been through since losing their loved ones. This was an especially gruesome case in my 12 years as an elected prosecutor, 22 total as an attorney. I don't think I can find another case that's going to quite compare to this one. Graphic details about a triple murder that killed four-year-old Chaos Yates, Andrea Blankenship, and Leon Pye. Lawrence Anderson pleaded guilty today to what he did and will likely spend the rest of his life behind bars. He is never going to get out of prison. There's evidence that's in the possession of my office as well as the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation that's so shocking after I reviewed it, it kept me up at night for weeks. Some of that evidence includes Anderson's attempt to force cannibalism on at least one victim. The families of those murdered today called Anderson a monster. Emotions running high in the courtroom as families addressed Anderson face to face. The father of four-year-old Chaos writing, quote, I can never walk her down the aisle and you're to blame for that. That little girl's mom saying she hopes his heart is full of fear, just like her baby's was. Others exclaiming their pain. One of those victims who survived, Delcy Pye, telling Anderson she can't sleep without having nightmares. And as her nephew, she doesn't love him but doesn't hate him, and God will judge him. Anderson has not yet been sentenced, but he faces the possibility of five life sentences. Three of those would be without the possibility of parole.